Today's video is one of those tomorrow jobs that have been putting off for far, far too long. Now, if you followed my modular design workshop build, you will know probably the thing I'm most proud of is the integrated drawbridge on the front. What I failed to do though, was put some kind of drip guard across the top. So any droplets or something's actually running directly onto the drawbridge and not falling off onto the ground. So I need to get something sorted for up there. So let's get inside the workshop and see if we can figure something out. Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've been in the workshop now for well over a year. Can you believe how quickly that's actually gone? Um, anyway, uh, although the construction is long since finished, the actual building itself technically isn't because I've put off quite a few tomorrow jobs really that do need addressing. Most of them cosmetic, for example, I need to box in the windows outside where the UPVC meets the cladding. Uh, the actual corner pieces where the cladding meet on the workshop itself, they need sorting out. And also this kind of drip edge, drip guard, whatever you want to call it, over the top of the drawbridge door because I getting a little bit worried that maybe some moisture might creep down the front and access into the side of where the drawbridge meets the actual structure itself. Now, in terms of materials, what am I gonna do for this? Well, recently I posted on my social media, I took these three pieces of hardwood out of a skip around here and you would not believe what some folk throw away around here. I suppose, you know, one person's rubbish, another person's gold and all that business. Anyway, um, I think it actually might be Sapili, which is incredible. What a find. Anyway, this is not going to be any um, mega difficult build or anything. I'm just going to cut a piece of this to size, put a chamfer on one end uh, at the top, put a round over on the other, and then get it mounted up and above the door, which hopefully should be sufficient because any rain droplets or anything will roll off that and onto the ground, as opposed to just rolling straight down the front of the drawbridge. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna crack on with that. I'll get that sorted out. Yeah, let's see how we get on it. Right, things ground to a little bit of a halt with this yesterday because once I got it cut and thicknessed and then I started running it through my trend router table with the 45 degree chamfer bit, that's the furthest it would go. Can you see that? And also it's left a bit of a lip on the end now. This is where the water's gonna come down, but I wanted it, if that makes sense, I wanted it to eat into more of it didn't like this bit at the top here. So, um, it's just arrived. I ordered this 
off Amazon. Now this is obviously a big meatier bit. It's a 60 degree bit, I think. And it wasn't an expensive one, but I quite like the idea of one of these bits anyway for like uh, cutting boards and stuff for like the little chamfered edge underneath instead of using my track saw. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. And if I like it, then I might look into getting a slightly better one, shall we say. So uh, I'm gonna give it a go now and then do a little round over on the other side. It is only a really simple project, uh, but uh, I thought it needed doing. I can hear the rain now. Uh, <laughs> I thought, well, why not share the process with you? So let's give this a go now and see how it goes. Blimey, I seem to be lurching from one disaster to another. Uh, fine, like that bit. Definitely a better profile what I was after. Sand off that little lip there. But then I thought I'll put a little round over on the bottom. And um, yeah, it wasn't a round over bit at all, was it? You know, sometimes with the simplest projects, you just don't concentrate. I know what it is. It's a mess in here. I've got about, well, I literally have got five different things on the go and I'm lurching from one to the next, to the next, to the next. And I feel like I'm getting nothing done and I'm not concentrating on what I should be doing. So. Lesson to be learnt there. Anyway, um, what I am going to also try in this bit here is my knot filler. Now, whether that will work outdoors, it'll be an interesting experiment. I haven't got a clue whether it will or won't, but I'll put a little bit of knot filler in that. Uh, just get a bit of a quick sand in on this, get a coat of uh, UV oil on it. And uh, yeah, let's get it up there. Uh, hopefully get it done today. All right. Well, that's this job nearly done. Just a couple more bits and pieces. I'm gonna run a fine bead of clear silicone across the top to encourage the rainfall to come down and off the front. Oh, if you wondered what it was that I used to actually fix the piece of wood up there, in addition to the nails, it's this stuff called EB25 from Everbuild. I think it's kind of like CT1, but no one near as expensive. Um, really good for flexibility. And it says it seals and bonds underwater. <laughs> Not that I'm going to be trying that, hopefully not in the near future. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, yeah, and then once I've done that, I'm going to give it another coat of the UV protection oil. It's only a simple project, but you know, it's really good for me, these kind of things, because it encourages me to work with, like, say, the router table and stuff to keep practicing and improve my skills. Plus, I've been meaning to do that for, oh God, it's been nearly a year since the drawbridge has gone on. So these little tomorrow jobs are actually getting uh, ticked off whilst I'm writing ones underneath as well. <laughs> as ever, everyone, uh, take a look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.